Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We know the number of electric field lines crossing a given area is referred as electric flux. In this video, we will discuss the electric flux for a uniform electric field. We know where there is charge, there is an electric field around it. And this electric field consists of electric field lines. When the electric field lines are parallel to each other, then we call the such electric field as uniform electric field. So you can see, I have drawn the parallel lines. This represents the electric field lines. When electric field lines are parallel to each other, then we call it such electric field as uniform electric field. Now I will find out an expression for electric flux for this uniform electric field. Let's do that. To find the electric flux, I take an area element. of this kind, this area element, the number of electric field lines crossing through this area element is referred as electric flux. Now, if I draw a line which is perpendicular to this area element, and denote letter n. This is called as normal. Normal to this area. Usually we represent the normal to the area as n cap. And uh, this uh, electric field have direction acting along this arrow bar. No? Electric field acting along this. And uh, this area element is written by letter E. If it is so, if we multiply the magnitude of electric field with the area, we get electric flux. Electric flux is denoted by letter 5. E and obtained by multiplying the electric field with the area. I will take this as case 1. What I have drawn? I take this one as case 1. Case 1. For case 1, the electric flux is given by this equation. Now, I take another case. Now I treat this area element to be acting along the electric field or in simple words. Now the area element is taken parallel to the electric field. Now I draw a perpendicular line that represents normal. Denote of letter n cap. Here cap, what I write here, what I put on n is a symbol of unit vector and it is read as cap. So how, how I will read this? I will read this one as n cap. N cap. I take this as a case 2. For case 2, Electric flux 5E is taken as 0. Why it is 0? The reason is here no electric field lines crossing through this area. So electric flux is 0. Now I'll take another case in which I place this area element inclined at some angle. 
is kept in coined at some angle. This way. This is a zero element. Now see, I have placed the zero element inclined at some angle. Now to find the angle between the normal and the electric field, I draw a line. Which is perpendicular to area element. Denoted the letter in cap. Now, if I extend this, the angle between normal and electric field line is taken as theta. Okay. Now, I will find the expression for 5e, that is the expression for electric flux for this case. For that, I follow this method. I draw a perpendicular line to this. This, then. I take the, the angle between electric field line and uh, this uh, normal line as a theta. Afterwards, please have to be careful what do I say now. In this case, the electric field has got uh, two components. One is perpendicular component, another one is the parallel component. Here, the component of electric field which is perpendicular to area element contributes in electric flux and the component of electric field parallel to the area element do not contribute in electric flux. You know this? Now, I am going to find out the, the perpendicular component and the parallel component of Electric field. Let's uh, do that. To get the parallel and perpendicular component, I draw a line here, which is perpendicular to this area element and parallel to this line okay see then I'll connect this to end then I extend this for my convenience I do the same thing to this line as well. Now, I draw a parallel line to this one. What I do? So it forms a rectangle. And at this line, which is nothing but The electric field line divide this two part divide this uh, rectangle into two right angled triangle what is right angle triangle a triangle whose one angle is equal to 90 degree is referred as right angle triangle and see 
this right angle triangle and here this one is also a right angle triangle because these two lines of the triangle forms 90 degree clear now we know we have studied this in lower class the side of the right angle to triangle which is just opposite to the angle theta is known as opposite side and the side which is beside the angle theta is referred as adjacent side and the third side of the triangle which is left here is known as hypotenuse this is it is drawn in yellow it is called as hypotenuse now I will find out the, the component as the parallel and the perpendicular component. Let us do that. Now, first I will find out the parallel component. Parallel component of E vector. How to get that? To get the parallel component of E vector, I take, I use this trigonometric equation sin theta equals to opposite side divided by hypotenuse here we know what is hypotenuse hypotenuse is e the magnitude of a electric field e vector and opposite side is unknown so it is kept as such now I keep opposite side this way and e is taken this side what is dividing here will multiply e sin theta this is the, the value of opposite side which is nothing but the parallel component of e so the parallel component of e is e sin theta now we will get the, the expression for perpendicular component of e perpendicular component of electric field E vector. Let us uh, do that. Now to do this, I use another equation of trigonometry. Cos theta equals to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Here we know what is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is E and adjacent side is unknown, so it is kept as switch. Now we will find out the value of adjacent side, which is nothing but this. It gives me perpendicular component of a electric field. E cos theta. I box this for convenience. Now E cos theta is the perpendicular component or the component of electric field which is perpendicular to area E element. Now I have done this. So, I told you earlier only a perpendicular component of E contributes in electric flux. So, I will get the expression for 5E. I take this case 3. So, electric flux can be obtained if we multiply this perpendicular component of E with the area E. This can be rearranged and written as E A cos theta is equal to 5 E. Now, here one thing I would like to tell you. There are two types of products. One is a dot product, another is a cross product. In dot product, if I take a A to dot B vector, then this can be written as AB 
cos theta. So here we see we have E A cos theta here. And we have E A cos theta. When well, A B cos theta is written as A vector dot B vector, then E A cos theta can be written as E vector dot A vector. So the above equation can be written as 5e equals to e vector dot a vector by following this method. Right? Here a vector is known as area vector. Vector is area vector this uh, a vector can be obtained if we multiply y which is the magnitude of area vector with the unit vector n cap here unit vector is a vector which has got magnitude equals to 1 along with uh, some direction so when we multiply a quantity with the unit vector the magnitude of that uh, quantity do not vary because when you multiply something with one, the value do not uh, change. The same thing happening. It only uh, gain direction, but the magnitude remains the same. I hope uh, you have understood. Now, this is the final expression that we have obtained. Now, one thing I would like to show you. So look at this uh, equation that we have obtained. From here, what I'll do. I will drive these two cases. How? Let me show you. Well, I call this as the special case. Special cases. The case of one. I take a theta equals to a zero. Not zero. Uh, theta equals to ninety degree. Then cos of theta will be equal to cos of 90 degree which is equal to 1 if I substitute this in the above equation so 5e will be equal to ea cos of 90 is equal to ea into 1 that means 5e is equal to e into e. This is a similar to case 1 that I obtained here for this diagram. Now, I will get an expression similar to this. For that, I name this one as case 2. Now, I take a theta equals to 0. Then cos of this. Cos theta equals cos of 0, which is equal to 0. If I substitute that one here in this equation, then 5e equals to Ea cos 0. Here cos of 0 is 0. No, I am substituting its value. So what do I obtain? You have to think about. 5e becomes equal to 0. This is equal to what is obtained here. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put a question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.